All right, guys, we're doing a hardwood screen and recoat today. As you guys know, that's our most popular service, which means we're screening off the old protection and reapply it new. Similar to your car, your car has a clear coat. We're taking the clear coat off and reapplying it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Let's go. All right, guys, we're on a job today. Uh, we got uh, a total of 600 square feet. Let me show you what we're doing. We got some red oak that we're doing. And the customer understands it's, it's uh, you know, beat up a little bit. They're not looking for perfection. They just want to make it look improved. And that's what we're doing today. As you can see, they have three bedrooms and a hallway, as you guys can see. We're going to be doing that. We've got a technician setting up now. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to do the closets as well. And again, uh, they understand they don't want the perfection. They just want to make it look improved, okay? And, and this is the voyage of the cost of sanding. So any deep gouges, you know, like that, that's gonna continue to be there. Any, anything dark um, in terms of water damage will lighten up, will, will still be there, and we're not changing the color. We're just roughing it up, knocking out the old protection so we re can re reapply new protection. And that's the whole point of a screen reco. And we may do a, cut, a little bit of color correction too to make everything blend. But again, they did not want to sand it. Uh, they just wanted to make it look approved, and that's what we're doing today. So, all right, guys, and again, this is, uh, we charge $250 a square foot. Um, and again, it's cheaper than replacement. They can walk on it the same day. Um, and again, it's just uh, a popular service, uh, especially with the cost of everything right now. So, that's what we're doing today, guys. Stay tuned for results. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey yo, let's go. Screening some floors. All right, guys, just an update. We already prepped the floors. Check it out. Again, they know these floors will not be perfect, but it will be improved. But it, it's a lot better than what it was. We did go aggressive on the screen, and this looks so much better, guys. You're still gonna see things like that, because that, you know, because we're not, we didn't sand it, we just screened it. So we screened up all the old gunk and funk and the dirt and debris and protection, and we're gonna reapply new. All right, guys, stay tuned for some results. All right, guys, I want to give you some results. We did screen uh, the floors and also do a light sanding on some areas with the palm sander, uh, me and my technician, Noma. And we just got done in this room. And again, guys, remember, when we screen a recoat, that's just a maintenance um, option. It is not um, a full sand. We're just screening off your old protection, abrading it, and then also reapplying new protection. So a lot of times uh, we can uh, screen floors like this that, you know, it, need, it really needs a sanding, but they didn't want to spend that money and don't really want to make that investment. So we can sand it, we can screen it aggressively. But again, when you screen it, you will not remove any imperfections. Like they had some wood fuel here, that will still be there. Any gouges will still be there, as well as any damaged wood, okay? Um, because we're not sanding it. We're only screening it. So what that means is, it's think of like your car, okay? You guys have a car, um, you, you clean your car, that's like cleaning your floors. But when you wax your car, that's like putting a protection over it to protect your car, right? But your car has what they call a clear coat. Your clear coat protects the paint and, and the metal, right? Whenever we do your floors, your floors 
has a protection called polyurethane, in some cases, aluminum oxide. And what that is, is a clear coat like your car. It protects the paint and your metal, like this protects your wood, okay? You with me so far, guys? So, with that said, whenever we screen your floors, we're taking off the clear coat and applying a new, a near, a new clear coat, that way your uh, floor and your wood is protected, okay? Now you can put, uh, clean your floors with neutral cleaner, things like that, and we can put a, what they call a wear layer of protection, which is a urethane that we can put on there to protect your polyurethane, similar to like wax on a car, but do not use anything over the counter like quick shine, orange glow, all those things, rejuvenate, those are all bad. Those are temporary fix to a problem that you can't solve, okay? Because it will not bond to your floors. When your floors are sealed and protected, it does not need anything but neutral cleaner, okay? Um, we do remove wax from your floors a lot, but um, my job is to educate you guys and add value to you to educate you to what put on your floor. So in this case, this floor here, it's a red common oak. We just screened it, okay? As you see there's some wear, some wear layers and some gouges, they understand that. They're not expecting perfect. They just want it improved. And that's what they're getting, guys. They're not getting perfect. Perfect would be a full sand, okay? They're getting an improved uh, floor. So we're screening it, we're gonna recode it, and we went aggressive with the screen. We went down to 150 grit, and then we're gonna recode it uh, with polyurethane two coats, okay? And that's really all this means is the screen and recode. But typically, guys, when you do a screen and recode, you're just re-protecting re your, your protection of your floors. And a lot of times, if you see your floors that's um, you know finished on site, which that's what this is, uh, and it's losing its luster or it's getting kind of dullish, that's a good indicator you need to screen and recoat, and that's 250 a square foot, okay? Um, now, if your floors are in good condition and you just want to enhance the luster, like it's really just good, you just want to get the film off, the residue will pop the natural sheen, then you need to clean and buff, okay? That's 150 a square foot. But if you have wax in your floors, like you use over-the-counter products like QuickShine, then you need a wax removal, then we need to do a screen and recoat to reapply your protection, okay? That's the difference in services, and that's mainly what we do. Now, if it's beyond repair and you want it perfect, then we do recommend a full sanding, okay? Um, so hope that educates you guys, hope that added value to you, and my job is to educate you on the difference between a screen and recoat, a clean and buff, and a full sand. Thanks for watching. Right, guys, as you know, we just got done screening. The client does move all the furniture, as you can see. They do a great job doing that. And uh, we just got done prepping the floors, you can see. Uh, the floor is already screened. Noma is vacuuming it now. So we already got this prepped. The hallway, this area, and this area. Now, now that it's ready to accept the polyurethane, um, that's really gonna um, enhance and protect the wood itself. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. So guys, stay tuned and we'll see some results. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we are applying the first coat of poly now. I did tint the poly a little bit to add character to these floors. Again, uh, this is a screen recoat. I'm applying the first coat and it is taking it well. Beautiful. Again guys, we always use a water base when we do a screen recoat. That way you can walk on it after three hours when we're complete with the last coat and there's, there's really no smell to it. There's low VOCs. That's why it's so popular, but it's also a little more expensive than oil base. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, guys, stay tuned for season results. Thanks for watching. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, guys, apply the first coat to this room. In this room, we then went with a satin finish. It looks glossy because that's it's wet, but it does look great. As well as this room here, responded very well. Stay tuned for his results.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share. All right, guys, check it out. Looks good. That's nice. All right, guys, we just got done laying the first coat of poly. Look at that, guys. Just wow. The client's actually sitting down here. I won't put him on camera, but he said, wow, that looks amazing. Right there? Yes. So, uh, nice. again, guys, sometimes a screen and recoat will save your floors. That way you don't have to sand it. It's not less invasive and it's cheaper than replacement, guys. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Common red oak. Revived it. Brought it back to life. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. We just got uh, back from lunch and just check it out. It's dried. This is the first coat. And typically, guys, it takes about an hour to two hours to dry because it is water-based. And then we're going to apply the second coat and this should be a wrap. Stay tuned. Look at that, guys. You can see the second coat where we have not done it yet. It's turning out absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful. All right, guys, again, this is the second coat. It's going good. This is the satin sheen. It goes on wet, but it dries to a satin finish. Beautiful. All right, guys, we are all finished. Check it out. This is the second coat of poly, and uh, it absolutely looks, looks beautiful, and the client loves it. And uh, yeah, this is a screen and recoat, and we we're able to save these floors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and you have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching.